Now, if you live for that one last dance, then savour it. Over a quarter of UK clubs have closed since the start of the pandemic. Who knew the saviour of the dance scene could lie in a former soft furnishing site? IKEA Tottenham used to play to the sound of tannoys, toddlers crying and couples arguing over storage units. It's actually completely unrecognisable, but would you believe this used to be where the flat packing aisles were, where flatmates, relationships, friendships were formed, and let's be honest, even a few divorces were probably cemented in this sacred site. But in its next incarnation... space for 15,000 people, it's larger than Wembley Arena. For our devoted ravers, resurrecting the scene was a must. Since 2020, more than 30% of UK clubs have closed. Grassroots music venues have been facing a crisis for years, compounded by COVID, but not exclusively. Underpinning the issue, rising rents, with venues often competing with millionaire property developers and massive energy bills. Oh, wow. Wow, what a room. But they're keeping the lights on here. DJ Jody Harsh is in the building and on the lineup. And do you think politicians and the government sort of cherish cultural spaces and clubs? Absolutely not. I think there's probably a level of intellectual snobbery with that kind of thing. I know we're not in the National Portrait Gallery here, but who's to say what culture is, you know, should get preference. It's, it's, all, it's all culture and nightlife is a real form of culture. So many spaces have shut down, so many of them have been turned into luxury flats. Covid of course, loads of businesses were lost and there's a lack of places for younger people to really get out there and learn about who they are, learn about what they like, meet people, as I said, the social interactions, listen to the music that they like and um, I feel like the government really should be helping fund some of these spaces, actually. The government say they are committed to supporting the sector and in March 2020 launched the Culture Recovery Fund in a bid to save much-loved venues, while Drum Sheds is brought to you by Broadwick Live, the team which turned an old printing plant into Super Club Printworks before it closed earlier this year. We work really closely with um, the Nighttime Industries Association and for us um, culture is really important not only for bringing economy into um, the UK but also for our ongoing prosperity. You know it's important that culture is taken seriously and continuously funded um, by government you know in order to, um, to, to really benefit the economy and local communities. And among the artists playing drum sheds in December are DJs the originals. And is it harder in the cost of living? Do you think people are struggling to come out to big nights? People were desperate to go out in the beginning. Definitely. But, the beginning. but I think as time's gone on and the, the financial obviously difficulties for a lot of people, it's a lot more difficult to get people out. So people are cherry picking in the cost of living? 100%. Yeah. Which is understandable. I do. With everything you do, you have to cherry pick. The holidays you go on, the shops you buy food from, you have to cherry pick because it's hard outside. It's hard. It's not easy for anyone and the clubbing industry is suffering hugely. While we're in the former furniture site, we had to ask a divisive question. <laughs> I just wondered what your worldview is on flat pack furniture. Are you flat pack furniture people? Do you get somebody else to do your flat pack furniture? What is your take on this? <laughs> Funnily enough, I did some flat pack yesterday. <laughs> you had some hard times. Yeah, the you've got to look online for the real pic proper pictures. They're not straightforward, are Because really. uh, you can't see little dots with the little holes in that where the screws are supposed yeah. to go. Oh, it's a headache. Of course, for some losing the old meatball counter, this former IKEA is a bitter pill to swallow. But they say time and dancing are great healers. <laughs>